This part of the stream is fun because nobody's watching it because I just started the stream. So I can say anything. Like waffles. Sweet, tasty waffles. Oh, and for those watching the VOD, um, I did fix the colors, I guess. What's weird is my monitor is expanded color space, so I set my PSTV to expanded color t space. But uh, when I capture, the colors are wrong unless I do limited color space. So, what that all means is that you should be seeing the proper colors now. Um, they were slightly washed out in prior videos. So, do I still any missions? Oh. oh, I have to kill some caratiers. Weird. I thought I did kill some caratiers. Hey, Rears. Everyone has hard to say names. Why do you do this to me? You, yes. Alright, so this is that dungeon I mentioned earlier that uh, expands backwards in time. Here we go. So now we can finally barely go into the second room. I could swear I did this mission. Did I forget to save? Or did I save to a different slot? I'm confused now. Hold on. I, I could swear I killed three or five caratiers. 8 p.m.? No, this is the most recent one, I guess. I meant to play this yesterday, but my internet died after the big storm. Hey, Sun Gaming! So this is a sort of a test of uh, a 1 p.m. stream, which might be a bit better for the European wannabe watchers, because uh, my usual 6 p.m. streams are really late over in Europe. And there's not really much I can do that about that on weekdays. Weekends, in theory. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I'll go first. I can go anytime. Also, it was a bit wrong last time. Yeah, this thing yep. Does. Yep. I can't reach it anyway. Um, last time I thought that the clones could not gain Lily rank. This was actually wrong, but I didn't have the right Look, tools boy. to gain Lily rank well anyway. We actually just want to spam SP attacks on these things, because these are pretty strong if I remember correctly. In fact, these are where about... I'll finish this at once. I think these enemies, or something like this, is what I used to grind up to a, high, a fairly high level. Wait, come on. There we go. Slice. So I don't really want these things to get a turn. Especially not all five of them. Wow, you have full SP. I guess I did a bit of grinding. I did a bunch of the side quests, which they're pretty fun, but they don't have any like funny dialogue and stuff. This is the finishing blow. One annoying thing about Oh wow, you still don't Oh hey! I finally have my EX drive attacks. And probably there's probably some attacks that uh, I can equip now. Yeah, what should I do? Brace yourself. Nowhere to hide. So there's some weird things I noticed with the localization, like Nepgear says Let Nepgear handle this. She says that. Um which is what she says Ready in Japanese. Because I remember there's a line that she says that has the word Nepgear in it. But that sounds so weird in English, like I'm pretty sure for some reason it's more common for people to say their own name in Japanese. I'm not entirely sure the stat, like the reason, but everyone introduces themselves by name in Sarakura. A little weird. Uh oh, that exclamation point on the time thinger means that that thing will go virus on its next turn. Which finally there's a warning for that. Virus is a status where. It turns into a harder enemy. It's kind of like a dot hack. See, the, we get double levels on those. They drop a lot of experience. Or give a lot of experience. They're also very dangerous. Oh, dang! That one pot had like 10 items. Well, like 5, you know what I mean. Um, let's see if that was a better weight for uh, Segami. It was not, unfortunately. Oh dang, her attachment! I didn't realize that she had these side effects of her hammers. That is actually really cool. Slightly increase the AP gauge of an opponent. Increase? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I assume that means it adds delay, but why would you word it that way? Huh. 
That's interesting. I didn't know these had these effects. Do other people's weapons have that effect? Oh, it does! That's really cool! I never noticed that in the Japanese release, because I couldn't read this and I didn't bother translating it. What I do in Japanese is if something is important, I, uh, I use Google Translate on my phone to read it. Wait, why? Why did you have garbage equipment? Yeah, it's definitely not how I would word it. Why is Nepgear the only Sega goddess directly related to Neptune? Because they're sisters? The other ones are different eras. Neptune and Nepgear from the same era. At least in the mainline games. In this one, they have their own eras just because it keeps things neater, I guess? Oh, right. I also got an extra attack slot for uh, Segami and IF. Um, what you want to do for Lily ranks in this game is first you need this love plus plus thing. Certain classes will learn it. Everyone, I believe, can learn it, but everyone's different class learns different passives. Um, I don't think we... Um, I'm just gonna equip some more attacks on people. Who is missing... Ooh, revive? Hmm, that's not really worth it. Blade Dance! Okay, you definitely need an attack, finally. Um, but yeah, you need the Lily Plus, which everyone can learn, I think. If it's not everyone, it's almost everyone. And then what you want is this Storm Charge um, grid, because that links everyone Lily-wise together. So you upgrade, you know, every single ch and every single, like, link. And then once you do, what you do after that is Charge Attacks are how you grind Lily rank in this game. So you just find some weak enemies, and you do a bunch of charge attacks. I managed to knock out both grinding to level 99 and upgrading my Lily ranks all to max in, I think, about a half hour to 45 minutes, um, which is not really too bad, in my opinion, especially since I didn't really know the ideal way to do things. But Neptune is supposed to represent the Kansas success of the Netgear, while Netgear is Game Gear. Netgear is not exactly the Game Gear. Demonic Inferno! Um, Neptune is also not exactly the corollary to the Sega Saturn like it suggests in this game. They're just the sort of nearest corollaries. And Saturn is like the main protagonist of the Sega Hard Girls show, so they wanted to cram her in somehow. Not that Neptune would really have a direct corollary, because, you know, she's a theoretical console. Look, Neptune is obviously alive. named related to the Game Gear, but that doesn't necessarily mean she's only Game Gear. She's... Just try and dodge she's basically like the, uh... Basically like what Neptune is. So yeah, we finally have Just EXE attacks now. Attack. <laughs> I'm copying my sister. Here I go. We won't use them against Final. these things, but, uh... So you want to do the grind, the, to do the lily grind, you want to do the charge attacks. Which actually do a bit more damage on this grid because of the... Oh. At least if we get the lily boost, we do. I'm to tempt fate and spam some charge attacks, but I think we should be do more than enough damage. Hey, Korax. Chaos Nefir. I hate those dumb designs with the Chaos Champuru bullshit. It's like... It looks like they found like some creepy guy's like porn fan art and decided, yeah, let's, let's make that an outfit. Yeah, that's fine. I got carrot tier leaf. Is that enough carrot tiers? I don't think it was, because it gives you a notification when we finally when you beat the quest. I think we probably have one more. Yeah, one more. Okay. Fortunately, enemies respawn really fast in this game. Um, what I really like in Neptunia is they usually have a lot of items that uh, reduce grind, like there's the escape button that lets you escape any dungeon. It's like an escape rope, but it works consistently, unlike escape ropes. And um, there's also this thing called the Forbidden Twig that will instantly respawn all enemies. For some reason, the Forbidden Twig is fairly rare. Like, not all games have it. But it's always a really good item to, that would be good to have. I really don't know why it's not in all of them. Did you 
say it takes less than an hour to max out a character. Um, yeah, once you have absolutely every, um, once you have, I was like at level 50, say, and unlocked all of the best areas. Oh my god, this is why I wasn't supposed to let them get a turn. Oh my god, it's a virus. What happened? Son of a bitch. Aw, oh, goddammit, I can't use that. Um... But once you have, um, once you have all of the best areas unlocked, once you've gotten everyone to a decent level, and you have the XP bonus skills, yeah, it doesn't really take too long to grind. God damn it! I knew these things would be hard, but I didn't realize it would be, like, completely impossible. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega I could Hall swear Girls. I beat this quest. I must have forgotten to save and then turned uh, turned it off. I remember fighting Carateers. I meant to start just straight in on. Uh, you know what? I think I. Can. No, but this is a good experience. So I guess I'll do this. I, I think I should be fine for most of this main story stuff. These aren't really beefgate enemies so much as I'm not supposed to be doing this quest right now. Here we go. But you can. Like these are like super late game enemies, but I just happen to be able to do enough damage to them to defeat them. As long as I get a simple attack. I thought I got a simple attack that last time, but I guess I screwed it up. Yeah, the thing about simple attack is you always get a full all characters attack before the enemy. Which, in this case, allows me to, uh, pretty much defeat them. But if they get even a single turn, they will all, like, they're way faster than me, so that's where they all went first. Also an interesting thing, as long as you have any amount of gauge left, you can execute any attack. Even one that would, like, majorly overfill your remaining gauge. Oh, was it a surprise attack? I messed up that bad. Oh, crap, I forgot to re-equip her skills. What should I do? I'm not used to Slash Wave. Oh. Wow, it has a really bad area of effect. I wonder why, but this game only has round area of effects. And Neptunia usually oh, has um, a bunch of different kinds of area of effects. Yeah, so Flash Wave Slash Wave is not supposed to be like that. Slash Wave has a pretty nice area of effect, like it's a straight line that's very long. And it's very much not like the one that is in this game. Like it's not a wave. Or whatever. Not See if you can survive one attack pretty easy, but oh wait. Aw. I wanted that 50 SP. Level up! I did it! I leveled up! Alright, let's just chill and see if we get some items again. Heavyweight is nice, yeah. but it doesn't have yeah. very good stats. Yeah. One interesting thing yeah. is I'm pretty sure loot is like somewhat randomly generated. Like, yeah. you can get items plus yeah. one and plus yeah. whatever. Yeah. I'm not sure what the max for that is or how it's yeah. exactly calculated, but I've seen at least plus five, and I assume maybe even up to plus nine can happen. I'm not sure. Let's move already. I'd have to check my Japanese save file to be sure. So we gotta be really careful around this jerk. All right. I'll go first. It's my turn. Jump. Take that. Oh, and I'll take that too. Jump. Thank you. Wait, is this Naomi? No. It's not. Oops. Uh, I swear, Bluetooth gets worse every year, I'll or my house just hates once. Bluetooth more. Uh, speaking of sparks, I was thinking of on um, the way you use sparks is interactive streams can set actions that you can perform for a certain amount of sparks. So you could like in Twitch Plays Pokemon, like pressing B would cost you know five sparks, or you could like you know 
if you were an MLG pro gamer, you could fire off an air horn sound effect on the streamer's PC with, you know, 100 sparks or you know, stupid crap like that. Um, I was thinking of making, like, Earth Tongue is this really cool pixel terrarium thing where you have these little, um... You know, I'm gonna exit and save, just just to be paranoid. Um, you have these cool, like, you grow beetles and uh, funguses, and it's cooler than it sounds. It's really cute, oh, and I was thinking of having it set up so that people could play it, you know, like an interactive Twitch Plays Earth Tongue, and, like, everyone would watch the terrarium, and you'd be able to, like, say, okay, want to scroll left now, or we want to, you know, add a new beetle or something. And, um, I'm not 100% sure how you make that happen. There's, there's a thing you can set up for interactivity, but I haven't used it too much yet. The problem with Earth Tongue is that it's all based on cursor movement, so it'd be a little bit more annoying to program for a Twitch Play sort of deal. Yeah, I think it'd be really fun. And you could also, you could, it could play near instantly. I tested out Tachyon yesterday when I was having internet issues, and it did not solve my internet issues, but the lag was, it was seriously under 200 milliseconds. It was amazing. Uh, no, the way sparks work on Beam is that watching streams and streaming gives you sparks. And you can also unlock certain features with sparks, like I unlock transcoding. Because transcoding is expensive on a server, um, in terms of like it costs more processing power, so they hide it behind sparks. And I think it's a permanent unlock, so I went and unlocked transcoding, and I made a team with sparks. You know, it's some features that you know Twitch locks behind, you know, partner status. You can buy Beam Pro, which like increases your spark, like intake or whatever too, but uh, it's not required. Magnus Chain gives you more sparks. I assume so. I let me see how many I'm earning. I think if I can do it, I would probably make most actions on like, you know, Beam plays Earth Tongue. I would probably make the most of them free. Like bike pamphlet obtained. What do you mean bike pamphlet obtained? Pick brochure of a sleek green. Wait, this bike is we can get my bike back? I don't know what that did. I don't know what most of the things do in this game. I did notice one thing I found um, is some of these plans from talking to people. Um, you get these game setting plans. Some of them actually inform you about the baseball in an area. So I think maybe the baseball I'm missing in the Japanese release is actually something I got from one of these and didn't realize it was you know, like a thing. But anyway, as f I'm getting two sparks in one minute for streaming. I think that's about what watching is, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not really too big on sparks. It's an it's an interesting idea, but I don't know. It's a Actually, I wonder. The symbol gain is a really nice ability. For a second I thought you were talking about a game where you have to pay per button press. No, it's not quite like that. It's like, you have to watch. Like, you can't just do a ton of actions without ever, like, you can't, it basically it limits you, f like, trolling somewhat. At least you have to watch a lot in order to troll. I did not mean to actually fight you people. I'm not sure if these rabbits and cardboard birds count as people, but, uh, I'll be, I'll be charitable. I'm the pro tag! Game Gear's freaking move range is so annoying. Though accessories are pretty nicely overpowered in this in that they have really strong effects on your skills. Or on your like stats and stuff. Which I actually prefer, because I mean you only get one accessory slot, so it may as well be pretty important, right? I can go anytime! Yeah, my freaking like, I have line of sight to my PSTV, but somehow my Bluetooth. And I swear it's gotten worse since... Do I look cooler now? Like, I don't remember always having this issue. And I don't think my dual... Like, I don't think Bluetooth gets worse with age. I don't know if, like, my neighbors got, like, a billion Bluetooth things going on. Because I don't really have too many Bluetooth things. Like, my PS3 is off-off. Um, my PS4 is around. Um, 
I have Bluetooth off on my Surface Pro 3. Okay, I can't I can't symbol kill these things, apparently. I was wondering if- they have this thing called Symbol Gain, where you can do a math attack and instant kill enemies, but still get their drops, which is an amazing, like, grinding item. It's, like, super great. Um, cause it, it cuts down on grind a lot, which I really love some- in this series, there's a lot of stuff they do to remove grinding, but they don't really seem to commit to it. Like, it's almost like they do it on accident, but, like, it can't be on accident, but... They do all these cool what things to reduce grinding, and then they do, like, one trophy that is a major grind that you can't, you know, skip past. It's like, I would really love, like, like, Disgaea has a lot of things that let you get around grinding. I wish they would be like that, more like Disgaea where, you know. Are the effects, like, Stick of Truth broken? Actually, I haven't played Stick of Truth, but I can show you what the things do. Actually, I'll, it'll be easier to show you in the shop. It's not like broken, broken, but um. Oh right, I was, I was trying to talk to Coke Bottle Glasses Girl. Let's go talk to her before I forget. Oh, and in Gold Axe Ravine, there's actually a girl that um uh, told me about a rumor about a turtle that looked like a landmass, which is an obvious Golden Axe reference. Kind of regret miss getting that not on stream, but whatever. Open Sesame. Did that seriously work? Talk about a lack of security. Some foreshadowing, I assume. I think when they do some things like that, like the way the Chrono Trigger elements in this game work is you talk to people on the map and then it affects certain stuff in the dungeons. I'm not sure what that what what that did though. Oh, I think I think I know. How do you open the door that won't budge? If you can't be pushed or pulled open, I suppose you have to know the choice but to break it wide open. I think they're talking about the door in that um, room I was just in. I'm not reading. That's a girl? Okay. I'm not reading your dialogue. Nope. I'm not reading your dialogue. Bad frog girl. Is she Pepe? Is she Foul Bachelorette Frog? You make a weapon apply to me, overpowered debuffs, and let the enemy stunned and dying from bleed damage alone. No, it's not like that. Uh, let's take a look. So, accessory slot. So we could, like... Add 50% resistance to any element, any one element. We can add three to move, which is pretty significant. Like, let's look at, look at Game Gear. Game Gear has our worst move. She has three. So she could suddenly be on par with our best move. But the thing about the, the accessories being overpowered is that since you only get one, you're giving up on, you know, having a different overpowered sort of effect. I'll see you, James Mast. So, like, I usually use this Ring of Essence. It adds about 2,500 um, HP, which... W oh. I was about to say, she's missing that one. So, yeah. That's why she has significantly less HP. It's not the hugest deal anymore. It's about 50% of her HP. It used to be about double, but it's still pretty good. I wonder what the area that ruin is from. There might be something big hiding in those ruins, you know? We're going to uncover the mystery behind the ruin. Sure we are. See, so the, the Ruin is eventually, uh, it takes a lot of work to find it, like not a lot, lot, but uh, there's a lot of running around, and it eventually houses the uh, super boss. So did that open the gate? It sure did! I knew it! Because I was missing the baseball, and I'm pretty sure the baseball is right back here. It sure is. Just a evidence. Yeah. Talking to that girl who said open sesame actually opens that door. I was so confused about this in Japanese because I did not pick up any of the hints. Anyway, we're getting back onto the story track finally. Oh. Hey Paul Blart, how you doing? Let me teach you the formation used to arrest a suspect. You're at a limit because you think limits exist. There are no limits, there are no rules. I don't I don't really want to hear that from a cop, I'm sorry. All attacker. Oh, good. Um party formation. Limit Breaker! Oh, nice! So yeah, this is... this lets you let, break your damage limit. All Attacker, Physical Endurance Plus. Gem Frequency Plus. Yeah, m mostly what you want is Limit Breaker for the hard battles, and Storm Charge to grind Lily stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it on Storm Charge just to overall reduce the Lily grind. Like I said, it's not... it's probably one of the least annoying Lily grinds in the series, honestly. But uh, I, it's still my least favorite sort of grind. Solution level recent fixed value. I was able to parse the plan. I never miss. 
Oh! It will increase your enemy's attack accuracy. Alright, so it's kind of interesting. We get basically cheats. Like, not quite cheats, but, you know, we get these buffs from certain things. Uh, you don't actually want a simple crusher, I don't think. I never miss. And that's actually really good for certain single miss attacks, or single hit attacks, that get really devastated by even a single miss. Position level, blah, blah, blah. Escape! If you hold the R button. Alright, I think this one... I forget if this lets you escape perfectly, like, no matter what, but it lets you escape without reaching the edge of the battle. So that solves my frustration with last time, when we, uh, couldn't escape from stuff. Alright, let's... Wait, what? Did I turn in that mission? Yeah, I did. I got super distracted. Oh, right, and your class level is capped to 20, which I should check on that. Until you do a quest unlocking cap, or a, 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 a quest to unlock that cap. John Mansell is concerned he's not working on the Crashing Masters? Huh. And yeah, the baseball is from some Sega baseball thing they have. I think we're gonna go to the Dreamcast era. I don't remember having too much trouble in the Dreamcast era. It's always a shame when. Despite all of that, we were actually able to keep those two from fighting for a little while. I'm quite surprised. It's always a bit of shame when you don't get, you know, the original composer for a remake sort of thing. Though I guess, well, for a remake you wouldn't really want to reuse the original music, so. Plus it's like, I wonder if they even have the master version of that, because like, the PS1, like, it didn't sound too bad, but it's not the best sound. Uh, chip in the world. It sounded like the best sound chip in the world because it was like real, you know, non, um, what am I trying to say here? Like it wasn't a sound chip, it was just like, you know, real instruments. But it still wasn't the best quality. The the PS1 was like surprisingly limited. Like you talk about stuff like um, Shovel Knight and people are like, oh this could run on the NES, I don't want to play a video game like that. But it's like, a lot of modern retro-looking games couldn't even run on, like, the PlayStation 1. Um, like, Because, <laughs> um, like, the PlayStation 1 had, like, two megabits uh, of memory. It was, like, ugh. Different worlds with different protectors, man, I'm being reminded by another franchise I enjoy. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I'm sure there's plenty of series like that, really. <laughs> it's Story all time. because I was able to convince them. I have a special way with people, you know. Yeah, she's very charismatic. <clears throat> you just have to be able to read people in a way that'll... Yeah, yeah, get over yourself. You know they're just gonna fight anyway, right? Hey, why would you say that? Do you really think you can make someone have a change of heart by yelling at them? Yes! Well, uh... Don't overwhelm her with difficult questions! Hey, Effie. In your era, are there really no goddesses or Sega hard girls at all? Yeah, I've never even heard of them before traveling to the past. <laughs> Do you think that means it'll end with an epic draw? Mm, it's hard to say. Maybe one side wins, but then no more goddesses or Sega hard girls are born after. Mm, I don't know. Maybe your theory is more plausible. That doesn't sound too pleasant. I really don't want to see that. You won't. I won't let it happen. Easier said. The history's already been decided. Or did you have an idea? I'll think of something. Don't lose your head in the process, okay? Even if the outcome leaves a bitter taste in my mouth, we have to wait and see how this battle will end. That's so dramatic, Iffy. I guess they don't call you Chuni for nothing. Chuni? Did I say that? I meant Chewy, as in, you always take a moment to chew on the facts. Um, yeah. You're such an asshole. <laughs> okay, that was completely unwarranted. 
Don't give us that look. Hey, I started. Does anybody have the striker pack for Gunvolt on 3DS? Is there any way to transfer your save data from the uh, the downloadable version? Because I played the first Gunvolt on like the because there was only the downloadable version, and I'm pretty much in the post game and stuff. I got most things unlocked, but it doesn't show up as a save file when I open you know the striker pack, the new version. And I guess they censored the original version more than I thought, and like they cut out a bunch of stuff. Like they cut out some visual novel elements, and like um, they censored the midriff because I mean, naughty naughty male midriffs, you can't have those in a video game. And apparently, they edited all that stuff back into the striker pack. Um, I'm not really too huge on most of those things, though. Freaking censoring out the midriff—that's freaking pathetic. But um, and they tried to cut off his ponytail too. We kept the ponytail, but they cut the midriff. I think they cut that out for the second game, like they left in the midriff and stuff, and I think they left... I think we got it pretty much unmolested, but like, that's so ridiculous, like, it even, especially it's like... It's not a big AAA freaking game, like, localized by Ubisoft, it's like... Who, who do you think your target audience is again? I, I don't think the Call of Duty bros that are like, sexually offended by, you know, male midriff are gonna be playing, you know, this moderately obscure Mega Man style game that's downloadable only on 3DS, like, whatever. Not quite related to this, but... Huh? Oh crap. I thought I equipped my poker face. Could you tell? You don't have a face. Nah, you were completely expressionless. Well, I haven't given up. Huh? We were able to stop the fight for a moment, you know? There's got to be something we can do. So, I'm going to keep thinking of ideas until we get to the end. Ah, uh, you can only transfer from retail to the downloadable? So, what's next? Do we just wait for them to start fighting again? I guess I'd, I remember doing it that way, because I transferred my retail, um, New Leaf save data to, to my console. Which, that's been nice. I, that was my final Club Nintendo reward. Um... And it's been nice, you know, to have that digitally, because, you know, it's the sort of game you play, like, maybe once a week, but you don't want to always have it in your system. Like, po with Pokemon and Animal Crossing, it's the sort of thing where either I won't play it at all, because it's not in my system, like, in the physical system, or I will play it all of the time and nothing else will be able to, like, be allowed to be played. So it's nice to have it digitally, so it doesn't hog up the slot. I told you that's not gonna happen. Well, we haven't been able to talk to anyone in this era yet. We've been pretty busy since we got here. Oh, right. Maybe we can just hang out and go sightseeing like we did in the other eras. Ugh, it's not called sightseeing. It's called investigation and observation. What do you want to do, Segami? I'm coming with you two, obviously. I may find some clues along the way. Well, you're persistent this time. Just let her do what she wants. If not, we'll never hear the end of it. If we could pinpoint one of their weaknesses, maybe we could blackmail one of them. Um, Iffy, she's sounding kind of criminal. That's all right. If she actually goes through with something like that, I'll have a great reason to slap her around. She's so mean. Good ending in sister location? What is sister location? That sounds inappropriate. I wanted to get rich by becoming a famous games broadcaster. Same. I used to have dreams like this. That's all he has to say. A cute girl asked me out. She seemed kind of familiar. How oh, cute. Ah! No! No! Ah! Please don't. Can we leave this guy, like, in a volcano or something? Oh hey, you're a Sega Hard Girl. Speaking of- oh, you're not a Sega Hard Girl. Let me pester sick. Oh wait, I forgot to link in Discord. The, the Discord connection for Beam is broken currently, so the Beam bot doesn't work. It's supposed to say you're streaming, but it, it just removes itself. Go pester sick. He's probably not gonna come. For some reason, Restreamio does not work with it. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 we're dropping frames? 